On to our scripture for today. It's taken from the book of Acts, chapter 2, beginning of verse 17. This are words pronunciated by Peter to the early church. In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit upon all people. Let that sink. In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit upon all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy, your young men will see visions, and your old men will dream dreams. In those days, I will pour out my spirit even on my servants, men and women alike, and they will prophesy. And I will cause wonders in heavens above and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and clouds of smoke. The sun will become dark and the moon will turn blood red before the great and glorious day of the Lord arrives. But everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be safe. My friends, this is a word inspired by God for us, the children of God. Thanks be to God. This lesson concludes our sermon series on how Jesus continues to reach out to the church after his crucifixion, after the resurrection. Jesus spent 40 days and 40 nights with the disciples, encouraging them, reaching out to them to cement the good news of the gospel. Good news that produces change, repentance, forgiveness, love, and everything that is good in between. Today, Jesus says, hey, break a leg. I'm sure you have heard about this break a leg concept, especially if you were in theater. And for many, you have to explain that leg, legs are not the curtain, but the side things in the stage. They are called legs. And when you say break a leg is when you step out, usually the, the person who is about to perform, they pull through that leg and they break into the scene. That's what they explain. But also, today I'm here to tell you, break a leg was the worst thing that can happen. Have you ever broke a bone? It's painful. But especially painful when you have no one around you. When you don't have a support system. When you don't have people that care for you. Break a leg is not the end of the world. When you actually break a leg. I'm not even just joking with the whole thing. Imagine that you are performing and you break a leg. What is the worst thing that can happen? Oh, the show stops. Not really. What what is the thing that they say? The show must go on. Why? Because the show doesn't belong to one person, even if that person is a star. Usually there's a backup for the backup for the backup. Why? Because they're prepared. Break a leg, church. Get some skin in the game. What's the worst thing that can happen? Hey, Jordan. My friends, let us stop the sermon there for a second and let's step in this. Uh, Jordan has been elected by the the session of the church to receive the uh, Dr. Seller Award this summer. It will happen in July as he's going to college. Uh, Jordan is the wonderful um, son of Autumn who uh, continues to be of great help in the nursery for all of us. So when you hear about the award and that day, that's Jordan. Jordan Jordan has been helping for so many years with Vacation Bible School and other activities in the church, and it's a joy that he is graduating and into bigger, uh, exciting things. Um, So we are excited for you, brother. Anyway, let's open the door and let's get back into the sermon. Um, Don't be afraid of breaking a leg. Because some will say, the church, how can you believe in God? A God that allows people to have cancer. How can you believe in God that allows conflict and death 
and famine and rape and disasters to happen? How can you believe in, in God when the church is filled with ministers that do this or do that and they steal and rape and they abuse their power? You see the news. Don't look so shocked. There is plenty of reasons why not to believe and congregate. Oh, the church is full of hypocrites. Oh, that person hurt me. This, Yes, some will say, and some even would say, they are drunk. If you pay attention to Acts 2, verse 13, you will see that after the Pentecost power, the Pentecost power came in, and the air filled, and the men and women there had the flames, the tongues of flame above their head, some who were there who did not experience the power said, they're drunk. That's where Peter says, drunk? Drunk? No way! It's Peter who is preaching here with power and praying with fervor, with love. He says, no, they're not drunk. What you see was predicted long ago by the prophet Joel. And this is the smart, eloquent answer of Peter, who, remember, was a fisherman. To those who doubt, he quotes Scripture. He quotes the prophet. Have you ever been in a situation when you're having an argument with someone, and then you remember a famous quote by someone like everybody loves, and you quote it, and that rests your case? Because someone smarter than you said it before you did? Well, that's exactly what Peter did. Peter, what well, scripture that we read today, beginning of verse 17, is a prophet quote. Peter, a fisherman, and nobody is quoting a prophet. Church, break a leg. Don't be afraid of breaking a leg. Because in the midst of challenges... Success can be achieved. Because even in the face of challenges, success can be achieved. Break a leg. Don't be afraid. It was not Peter, but it was the prophet Joel who said it first. The sun will become dark. Do you know what happens if the sun becomes dark? What happens to planet Earth? We're done. We're done. There is no gravity. We will start flying up the rocks. Everything will fall apart. How did Joel know this? This is a prophet long time ago. How did Joel know what would happen? How about the moon? How did Joel knew about the moon? If something happens to the moon, do you know what happens to the sea? We're done. So Joel, in verse 20 of Acts 17, is brought up to say, the sun will become dark and the moon will turn blood red. There will be destruction. There will be brokenness. The world will break a leg. Before what? The great and glorious day of the Lord arrives. Revelation chapter 19. Don't be afraid of breaking a leg. Let us hold on to the assurance that God is with us, guiding our steps and working all things together for our good. No, he doesn't say for our comfort. Because breaking a leg is not comfortable. But for our good, that is often different than comfort. Church, break a leg. Because when we place our hope and our strength in the right places, it is possible for us to find a way forward in every circumstance. Remember, it is not simply that God is in control, but more importantly, that God is in charge. So allow for that presence to be revealed in the circumstance, in the thing that is happening. Obviously, breaking a leg, it is a tool to talk about challenges, whatever they may be. Allow that to happen. You can thrive. 
I am here today to tell you that despite your challenge, despite you breaking your leg, you can make a comeback. Why? Because who did it before you did? Jesus did. Breaking a leg is not the end. You can make a comeback if and when you have a good support system. And I'm not only talking about your friends and your neighbors and your spouse and your children. I'm talking about the Holy Spirit who is effectively working, coaching you while you are taking a beating in the corner. Verse 17 from Acts 2 says, In the last days, God says, I will pour out my Spirit upon whom? All people. Again, I always get in trouble, but if this is a church and God is pouring his spirit on the church, is that that? No, that's not what happens. It's not just the church. It goes like that. Everywhere it goes on all people, all people. Your sons and your daughters will prophesy. That means that without knowledge and without training, your sons and your daughters your daughters will take a place of privilege prophesying about the coming of the Messiah. And your young men, those who are not important in tradition, your young men will see what? The vision for your family, for your organization, for the future of the world. And your old man, those who are like, ah, what do you know? You're an old man. Forget you. No. What would they do? Dream dreams. Have you ever woke up from a wonderful dream and how much hope you receive? Your hope will come from the dreams that the people who you often disregard will give you. Look at the amazing power of the prophet Joel and Peter remembering those words when the Holy Spirit came. Break a leg. Break a leg is for you to be encouraged to walk away from the comfort, to to tackle your fears and your doubts head on. True growth and achievement often requires for us to step out of the comfort zones. Think about this as an example. Why do you think that we are often encouraging children to go There, into the stage. Yes, it's cute. Yes, it gets you smiling. Yes. But more importantly, we are building men up so that when they grow older and know somebody needs to say something or somebody needs to sing something or somebody has to say and fight for the cause, they are no longer afraid. But they will say, you know, I had a body. I had a family. So even though I was a not good singer, they would still clap after me, encourage me, and love me. And they said, oh, how wonderful job I did, even though I was just screaming and yelling in the mic. My friend, that is the work. That's why we are taking the time to put them out there in positions of leadership so that they learn because we value, because we believe what the Scripture says, that is those young men Young women who will be not just simply the future of the church, but the current reality of the church. But they have to fight their comfort zones. And we need to provide the safe environment for them to fight their comfort zones. That is our job. At least, for as long as I live, that is going to be my job. In those days, Verse 18, Acts 2. In those days, I will pour out. God says, I will pour out. It's not just drops. I will pour out. This is where I take it from. That's not my idea, obviously. I will pour out my spirit upon my servants. Men and women alike. And they will prophesy. And I will cause wonders and heavens above and signs on the earth below 
I will give you clear signs. Like what? Like blood and fire and clouds of smoke, which is Old Testament when God was leading the people of Israel through the desert. How many of you have been through the desert? I have. And we, according to the Word of God, we are guided through the storm into the green pastures. Church, break a leg. I am encouraging you today to break a leg, to put yourself out there. Again, to eat the jalapeno. Do not be afraid of eating the jalapeno. Don't be afraid. Confront your fears and your doubts head on. Like when parents encourage their children to do dangerous things carefully. I'm at fault. Sometimes we do not let our children do dangerous things because we want to protect them and end up overprotecting them. But hey, you're going to have a bike? Okay. And you're going to build a ramp with wood in a you know, shaky ground? Of care. Just wear your helmet and go ahead. My friends, doing, thing, doing things that are dangerous carefully. What do you think preaching is? For those who have preached, for those who have put yourself out there, for those that have teach Bible study, that's a dangerous thing. But when you're in a community of encouragement, you can do it carefully. Which is where I tell you on Friday, a bunch of us are going to go to downtown Eustis. First Friday, we're going to have a booth. We're going to be encouraging people to come vacation Bible school. We're going to make a fool out of ourselves, especially me. I'm going to wear a suit that is a, you know astronaut with a blow up, and I'm going to be jumping, doing silly dances. Why? Because I am not afraid of breaking a leg. Now, there's any volunteers that would like to take the suit? I hope that you are. One of you. I, I just want one of you to be as silly as me, encouraging young families to bring their children so that we can teach them about love, encouragement, and peace for boys and girls alike. That's our job. Would you wear the suit? Not only that, but then maybe you cannot do it on Friday because you have a date already. Good for you. On Saturday, there's vacation Bible school. We're going to do a lot of things here. Oh, I'm not an artsy person. Yes, you are. Put yourself out there. Then we need volunteers for vacation Bible school. Have you heard that? We do. We prefer to have as many volunteers here guiding, doing crawl control, cleaning, and everything in between. Don't be afraid of putting yourself out there. Oh, but Mario... Break a leg. And then in July, July 22nd, we're going to have Let's Get Physical. Our hope is to have as many children, children and youth coming to get physical so that parents don't have to pay the $25 copay. Last time that we did it was in 19. And we had almost 300 youth and children coming through here. And we expect to have just as much number of people. We need you as volunteers. And we need you in the parking lot, guiding. We need cooking. We need serving. There's going to be a table for temperature check. There's going to be a table for measuring the height. There's going to be, there's going to be a job and a duty and a task for everyone involved. But this is what I'm telling you. Put yourself out there. What's the worst thing? You break a leg? Yeah, could be. You can trip. But you're going to have a family that is going to nurse you back into health. Because we're not doing this by ourselves. We're doing this together. Here is the job, though. Here's my encouragement for you today. I want you to read what I have on the screen. And this is going to be our statement today. You're going to rehearse this, and it says, In our faith journey... We may encounter moments of doubt or fear, but we are called to press forward, trusting in God's strength. 
With God's help, we can overcome our limitations, discover our true potential, and experience the abundant life God has promised. And I don't want you reading this for yourself. I want you to read it loudly, so no mumbling here, please. And I'm going to be as loud as I can so that you can be as loud as you can. And we're going to read this statement that I just read together. Okay? In our faith journey, we may encounter moments of doubt or fear, but we are called to press forward, trusting in God's strength. With God's help, we can overcome our limitations, discover our true potential, and experience the abundant life God has promised for us. That's the stuff that builds you up, my friends. Now, I wrote that. I write it yourself. Break a leg. What's the worst thing that can happen? Because even in the face of challenges, with the Holy Spirit, key word, three words actually, with the Holy Spirit. I guess it's four. (laughs) You laugh, but success can be achieved. So are you going to eat the jalapeno or what? (laughs) Amen. Amen. 